this video is on uniform distribution. So uniform distribution or rectangular distribution. See, I'm going to discuss the definition of it. And also, I'm going to find out the mean of the uniform distribution and variance of the uniform distribution. See here, according to the definition, a continuous random variable X is said to follow continuous uniform or rectangular distribution over an interval A, B is given by. See here, the probability density function F of X is given as K constant value when x lies between a and b and zero otherwise see here as you know that so we know that the total probability is always equal to one that is integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx value is equal to one see here this will be minus infinity to the lower limit here is a f of x dx plus again a to b f of x dx plus again b to infinity f of x dx value is equal to 1. So if you observe this one, when x lies between a and b, f of x value is equal to k. Otherwise, the value here is 0. So this value is equal to 0 and this value is equal to 0. And see, now integral a to b, f of x dx value is equal to 1. See here, f of x value here when x lies between a and b is a constant value k and now if i substitute the same thing here integral a to b k into dx is equal to 1 so k is a constant integral 1 into dx is x between the limits a to b is equal to 1 so k is equal to the upper limit minus lower limit is equal to 1 and the k value is equal to 1 by b minus a so we got the k value as 1 by b minus a. Therefore, now the probability density function here will be, see here, the probability density function f of x can be written as in place of k if I write this one, b minus a when x lies between a and b and 0 otherwise. See here, this is the probability density function of uh, uniform distribution now i am going to find out the mean of uniform distribution see here for finding the mean as you know that e of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x dx see here so for finding the mean of uniform distribution so we have a formula so what is that formula here the formula is also nothing but e of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x into dx so we have f of x value as 1 by b minus a now if i substitute here e of x value will be c here so the limit exists only between a to b that is x into f of x value is nothing but 1 by b minus a into dx so if i bring this constant outside then integral a to b x into dx. So if I integrate, so this will be x squared by 2 between the limits a to b. See here, this will be 1 by b minus a. Upper limit will be b squared by 2 minus lower limit will be a squared by 2. So now this will be b minus a and if I take 2 as LCM, this will be b square minus a square. So, b square minus a square can be written as b minus a into b plus a by, so this value is b minus a into 2. So, if I cancel this, so I can write this as a plus b by 2. So, this is nothing but the mean of the uniform distribution. Therefore, we got the mean, the mean of the uniform distribution is nothing but See here, mean mu is equal to, this is a plus b by 2. So, this is how we have to find out. So, simple. See here. So, first of all, our probability density function is given as 1 by b minus a. Where x lies between a to b and 0 otherwise. So, using this, so mean formula is equal to my integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x dx. So, in place of f of x, in between a to b, the value here is, the function value here is 1 by b minus a and see here, 
so this will be the mean of the uniform distribution now coming to the variance of the uniform distribution as you know that see here now this time the variance of the uniform distribution will be variance of the uniform distribution as you know that the variance of x value is equal to e of x square minus mean whole square so what will be e of x square so e of x square value is equal to as you know that e of x square value is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity this is x square into f of x dx see the function value lies between a to b x square f of x value is 1 by b minus a according to our uh, probability density function see here the function value is equal to 1 by b minus a here if i substitute b minus a see what happens here so this will be integral a to b 1 by b minus a is a constant and this is x square dx so if i take b minus a common this is integral a to b x square dx as you know the integration of uh, x square is nothing but x cube by 3 between the limits a to b see here 1 by b minus a if i substitute the upper limit this will be b cube by 3 if i substitute the lower limit this will be a cube by 3 so this is nothing but b cube minus a cube by 3 this is 1 by b minus a and see here so the formula here for a cube minus b cube is nothing but c in place of a we have b b minus a into b square plus a b plus a square by c here this is b minus a by 3 and now if you see if i cancel this one then the value will be a square plus a b plus b square by 3 see here so this is nothing but e of x square see e of x square is nothing but x square into f of x now we want the variance value so for finding the variance of x if i substitute the value this will be the variance of x now variance of x value here is nothing but e of x square minus mean whole square so we have both the values ready here so e of x square value is nothing but a square plus a b plus b square by 3 that is a square see here plus a b plus b square by 3 minus e of x see here the mean value e of x so e of x value is also ready as a plus b by 2 see here if i substitute here that is a plus b by 2 whole square now see this will be a square plus a b plus b square by 3 minus this will be a plus b whole square by 4 so if i take 12 as lcm here and if i cross multiply this will be 4 times of a square plus a b plus b square minus 3 times of a plus b whole square so this will be 4 times of a square plus a b plus b square minus 3 times of this is a square plus b square plus 2 a b 2 a b by 12 see here by 12 and see this if i multiply with 4 this will be 4 a square plus 4 a b plus 4 b square so if i multiply with 3 minus 3 this will be minus 3 a square minus 3 b square minus 6 a b divided by 12 and see here 4 a square minus 3 a square so if you observe this one 4 a square minus 3 a square so this value will be a square and see this is 4 b square minus 3 b square so this value will be plus b square and if you observe this is 4 a b minus 6 a b so this value will be minus 2 this is minus 2 a b by 12 so this value a square plus b square minus 2 a b is nothing but 
a minus b whole square by 12. Therefore, we got the variance of x value as a minus b whole square by 12. So, we have the mean value as, see here, a plus b by 2 and the variance value as a minus b whole square by 12. So, this is how we have to find out the mean and the variance of the uniform distribution and using these we have to solve so many problems. I will be uploading many more problems related to uniform distribution. Have a look at those. Please practice and if you definitely like this, please pass it on to your friends. Thank you so much for watching.